Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. My name is Noor Bashir. I am from Garissa Disese College. Actually, we thank God for completing our exam today. And we gathered here today and to say some issues concerning about the ECD teachers within Garissa County. We want to remind the public that, or we want to put into the consideration the last time county government of Garissa to do a recruitment of ECD was 2014. And now it's a decade, it's almost a decade and beyond the line. That 10 years and back the line, there was no recruitment actually done. Last uh, five months ago, they do an advertisement on three departments. That is an ECD for the Ministry of Education, and Revenue Department, and the Administration Department. Up to date now is now five uh, months, six months six month ago. The outcome is still bending. We don't know what makes that uh, outcome to be held. And why reason, what reason makes them not to release the shortlisted members? We have had a, a rumors or a hearsay from the, from the town and outside here that there is a political interference over the recruitment, that some people are putting unqualified personnel to take the advantage of that recruitment. When we have this good number of people who are qualified, who have attended the training, they have undergone the training for the last three years and successfully today we finish our exam. Half of our, our, our colleagues are yet in the institution and doing their final paper. These are half, these are half number who are representing those who are there. And then there is a good number who completed ahead of this number, ahead of these colleagues. They are in town, they are in schools private, both private and public, with the mercy of the center managers. They are getting through their peanut, they are getting their monthly peanut through with the uh, uh, support or the contribution from both the institution and the community. So what make those challenge, challenges? If and when the challenges we are experiencing is also touching the community because they are as well contributing to pay to stand for those teachers. While it is the mandate of county government, to recruit these ECD teachers. So if 10 years down the line there's no recruitment done, and annually every year the budget are released, those programs are inside, what make not to do is the question that we're asking the county government. And this one goes, and this one goes no other person other than the president of county government, that is the, the governor, Nadif Jam Aden. Our governor, we respect you, that's why today the teachers finished the exam and they not decided to protest, to go into your office or in other offices and create a vandalizations or rioting the town. These are professional teachers. They decided to observe their professionalism. They decide to look, not to go into the street like any other persons. These are people who went to serve the community tomorrow. That's why we gathered here to, uh, for press media so that our report will reach you peacefully. We are not uh, protesting, we are demanding. It's not a privilege, but we are demanding to, for you to see our right back. Thank you very much. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. My name is Mohamed Ahmed Shide, a student leader in Gariza uh, Disaster College. Uh, what my colleague have said was a remarkable issue that uh, most of us have really have so many challenges. And we urge the governor of Gariza County, Honorable Nadif Jama, also to take uh, action on that. 
that we were a long waiting for the shortlisting, that we have uh, applied for our jobs uh, down five months ago now. And therefore, uh, we urge we are qualified teachers with the TSC numbers overall now since uh, 2019 up to date, 1,500 uh, teachers were well qualified in Gariza uh, De Sesia College. And yet, there is no much uh, provisional team of uh, making or putting a step ahead of the teachers. And uh, we want to change this community, Gariza County, to be one of example uh, to the nations. And therefore, we are demanding our uh, our institution to be respected in high quality together with our principal and also the administrators to give us support and warmly uh, grieve to the uh, institutions so that we can put and be responsible for ourselves to be good teachers the entire community and also works with any person our young children who are there at home uh, to teach them to be somebody who is responsible in future. So therefore, I want to take, uh, we want to give a mandate or time for the shortlisting announcement for a period of now one week. Uh, failure to do, to do that, we are going to affiliate ourselves uh, to the main field of the government and uh, Gariza office. So we therefore, these are demonstrations, these are peaceful demonstrations whereby we need peace and we want to have our uh, grievance and our also rights as a teachers of Gariza County. Thank you. Majina naitu Adol, eh, mimi ni manafunzi wa Gariza Disese College. And leo tuko hapa, mile tunatuona leo tuko hapa na wenzangu walimu wa chekechea. Tumejitokezea inje ili tupate haki yetu. Tulikuwa tunafunza shule miaka saba. Imagine, unakanda ni a class na watoto ambayo ni 80 ama 90. Sasa, na waomba, na waomba, our government, our nini, our governor, Badif, ile tusaidie, tupate haki yetu, na tuwasaidie eh, na wenzetu. Mtoto wachakechea akielekea darasa la kwanza ama la pili, hiyo mtoto utaona kama ni mtoto ambayo amejua kitu. Lakini kama hakuna walimu wachakechea, hapo ya mtoto atakufa. So, sina mengi la kusema, ni hayo ndo nilikuwa na hayo, na omba serikali ya tusaidie. Sante. Kwa majina kamili, mina itua mwalimu Abdi Ahmed Hussein, mwaja wapo wa mwalimu wa chekechea katika hii county. Uh, um, the way I'm here, if I introduce myself, I'm born and brought up in Gariza county. I'm now 30 years old, and I finished my, eight, uh, my four, four years, some 10 years ago. And since then, I've started uh, teaching prof profession, and I've completed some two years ago. Now that I have a teaching experience of five years, I've not been employed. I'm volunteering myself for the last five years. And I have actually uh, more than 75 young ECD learners in the class I'm handling. You can even feel the pain with me that I'm handling 72 ECD learners that I'm not employed again. So I'm now speaking on behalf of my, my teachers here, colleague teachers, that Gariza County, in front of the Gariza County government, ECD teachers, is, they, they don't see as a profession. But we are the, we are the backbone. We are the, in fact, we are the backbone of the education. Without ECD, a learner in grade three or in grade four cannot even understand what sound is, what numbers is, but it is because of ECD teacher can actually yes, yes, yes. ECD teachers are the ones. In fact, we are the caretakers. We are the ones who have created the foundation of ECD learners in Gariza County. So we want to get our actually what we deserve. Actually, what we deserve. So I want to convey my message to His Excellency, the Governor of Gariza County, His Excellency Nadif Adan Jama, to hear our voice that it is not possible that, that and actually. County Zima equal 165 ECD learners, while other counties they have more than 500 ECD teachers. Bona governor, some five or six months ago, we have applied ECD teachers. Each and every week, we are hearing that shortlisting are, are coming. 
they are on the way and we don't see it. Buana governor, uh, we are not demonstrating, we are not doing anything against the law, but we are ready actually to, to remind you, to remind you uh, that we are ECD teachers suffering all over the schools in our county. Uh, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, we have been patient, tolerant, and they persevered a lot to wait the ECD job. It is now six months till application. We are sending message to the County Public Service Board because it is your mandate, it is your responsibility to recruit the teachers. And we are urging you to recruit the qualified ECD teachers who are currently teaching the public schools. We are also hearing the rumors that says uh, some MCS want to recruit from four livers. Um, they want to include the list in, of ECD teachers to, from four livers. We are telling you that if we see any form for liver in that list, we are going to take that list to the court. Yeah, thank you. We are going to take that list to the court. We are not fearing, we are demanding our right. It is the democratic right and we must exercise it. You are supposed that the, the shortlisting should be clear, transparent and contain the list of qualified ECD teachers. Thank you. Failure to do that. In fact, we are giving you between now and uh, Monday. If we don't get, um, if you don't release the shortlisting by Monday, Tuesday will be on the streets. Yes.